You're listening to WFMU, Rob here, and we have a guest in the studio all the way from Zimbabwe by way of Illinois. Her name is Irene Chagamba from Zimbabwe, as I said. She plays Mbira and comes from a family that actually has their own family ensemble, and their group as a family is called Mehembero Mbira yes. Ensemble. Mehembero. Mehembero. And uh, Irene plays, and your dad, I guess, did he actually start? Did he start the group? Yes, he, he, started, he started to play Mbira. What's your dad's name? Tute Chigamba. And he started playing in the 60s? Yes. And uh, how old were you when you started? Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty young? Yeah, it was pretty young. It was uh, five years. Five years? Yeah. How come you started? Just pick it up? Or uh, did something happen? I don't know. Maybe it's from our family because uh, my my grandfather and my grandmother, they are... They are also musicians, mm-hmm. so it's the a family thing to be a musician. So we, because it started when we when I was I wasn't there so. <laughs> before you were even born. <laughs> even born, right? So. <laughs> and you're from, I guess, Highfield. Is that in yes. Harare? Yes. In the city. In the city. So yeah. It was a pretty city atmosphere that you grew up? Yes, it's a capital city. And now, was your family, now the, the Umbira and the whole tradition that you're associated, it's the Shona? Yes. And um, were you also a Christian by family or? A- uh, I am a Christian in my heart. Mm-hmm. Because the way I pray, I don't go to ch- to church, mm-hmm. but I play through Mbira. I pray my own way, mm-hmm. my, yes, mm-hmm. cultural way, the way we used to play. We don't go to church. Mm-hmm. My family doesn't go to church, but we pray our own way, but we pray the same God. Mm. Yes. Irene Chigamba? Is our guest, <laughs> WFMU Rob here, and Chris Stubbs is actually at the controls today, and Irene has her beer with her, and she's going to sort of play and demonstrate a little bit. Well, let me let me ask you, you were chosen to be have this special responsibility, I guess, Mukaranga? Yes. Which is uh, when you were very young. Yes. What, what is that? Tell, what's that story? Uh, Mukaranga... In our language, Shona, Mukaranga means lots of things. But there's a special person who called Mukaranga who take care of uh, spirits, uh, clothes like uh, fabric and uh, walking sticks, all the the things which is spirit is spirit used when it comes, it possessed. And that became your responsibility? Yes, I was uh, very young. I was 10 years. So you're basically sort of taking care of ancestors. Yes, I was taking care of their clothes. When they are dead, I can wash, wash all those clothes and clean. And when we are going to the Mira ceremony, Oh, uh, I will. Car- I used to carry the the clothes myself, the 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 fabric for for mm. spirit and mm-hmm. uh, no carries. I carry when the spirit comes. I give to to the spirit and uh, also give the spirit water. Okay, we're yes. talking with Irene Chagamba, and so you mentioned a beer the beer ceremony, which is. A ceremony for the ancestors. I think the yes. thing that's very interesting for people is that the whole 
place of ancestors in the, in the tradition, in the Shona tradition, and the Bira ceremony, and how the Umbira is connects to ancestors? Yes, you know? yes. Maybe you could tell a little bit how that... Um, Bira is a spiritual I- instrument. Um, we use this Bira, we used it to use it in the Bira ceremonies. And but the, this, uh, these days, people, they are now playing uh, mm. everywhere. Like, mm-hmm. he, now I'm here, I'm playing Bira. <laughs> we don't, we, we, uh, long back, we, we, we play in Bira when there is a special occasion. Right. For spirit, sometimes for healing. Right. Or when we have problems, we want to pray. Mm-hmm. We can uh, call our family to be together. Mm-hmm. Then we sit down and we pray in Bira. Mm-hmm. But we, during our playing, sometimes the spirit will come and tell us what to do. Mm. If, in, if we have uh, a person who is sick, the spirit will come and uh, heal that person. Okay. Or well, sometimes the spirit she doesn't come, but that mm. person, uh, she can also stand up and start dancing. Uh, mm. It heals. So it, it is a, a spiritual instrument. Both very concretely and yes. less so. Yes. Sometimes directly calling spirit and sometimes healing mm-hmm. just through yes. music. Yes. But as you're saying, also now it's used in the purely in outside of spiritual ways i mean you come to america americans playing mbira and there's a mbira there's a whole mbira culture in america many people play and are interested Mm -hmm. and you were just in illinois actually teaching and i know there's like big festivals in west coast and uh does it seem strange that people would at first maybe for you i mean now mm-hmm. now maybe it's not strange but at first did it seem strange that people would play mbira without understanding the tradition or or maybe not believe in the spirits but still be interested in mbira in the music yeah it was strange but um now you know the world is changing that's right. why we release that cd mm-hmm. it actually means that's yeah, the title that's, right that pasim pindu pasim pindu the song itself mm-hmm. it talks about uh, how changey mm-hmm. how things are changing mm-hmm. now people um are exchanging each country now wants to learn culture from other countries mm-hmm. that that is to to say everything is changing Hmm. The world is changing. Now we are playing, uh, you are playing bira, and we play piano. Some of us we, we play uh, guitar. That's not our <laughs> instrument, it's your instrument. Right. So it, it's part of the changing of the world. Right. That's what I think. And it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, I mean, yeah, you know, there's uh, Americans playing bira, and mm-hmm. there's bands, Zimbabwe, guitar bands, yes. bands with guitar and mbira, like uh, Thomas Mapfumo uh-huh. and Stella Chueche. And yes. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can see American people playing mbira, uh, black people playing uh, right. guitar in right. the same bands, you know? Right, right. <laughs> it's totally confusing. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to WF. M.U. Irene Chigamba is here. She's from the famous Chigamba family from Highfield, Zimbabwe. And uh, together they're the Mehembero Mbira Ensemble. And they have their first CD called Pasi Mupindu, which means the world is changing, as Irene was saying. And she brought her Mbira with us. Do you want to maybe demonstrate what... Uh... Yes. This mbira was made by my father. He makes them, right? He's yes, the he maker. makes mbira. Uh, the, this mbira is uh, 20, 27 keys. Mm-hmm. And uh, these keys are made of steel. The steel they 
used to build houses for concrete, uh -huh. uh, okay. reinforced steel. Mm -hmm. That's uh, they took uh, that uh, that reinforced steel and panned the the the, the keys until they are flat mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. until they are making sound. My That's how my Japan. father makes him beer and. Uh, uh, there is a board here. You can see this board. Mm -hmm. It's like a square. Yeah, square. That's where they put the keys and uh, with this steel here mm -hmm. and uh, wire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, holding it together with the wire yeah, like wrapped around the wrapped board around and the keys and held down. Yes, and to put the bottle tops here. How are you bottle caps? Cap? Yeah, bottle caps. All right. To to boost the the sound. Mm -hmm. the, the, those uh, bottle caps. When I play in beer, they make a sound sh mm. like a horseshoe, Do you have like to, a rattles. Mm, like a rattle. Yes. To give like a buzzing sound. Do you? T is it hard to tune it? Keep tuned. To 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 tune the. the yeah yeah. Yeah, it's 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 hard. <laughs> It it needs a a, a, a professional person uh -huh. who know <laughs> who know the sound. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, this is a is a god. It's family of uh, calabash, calabash or pumpkin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We grow this uh, uh, in Zimbabwe. We grow mm -hmm. the these gods for. We use them. Some some of them we store the beer. Mm. When we cook, we brew the beer. We brew beer. Mm -hmm. We store the beer in the. Put the beer the in the board. board. Yes, okay. and see, sometimes we can put the drinking water in the. Yeah. So mm. when they are broken, mm -hmm. then it, when they are broken, we take them and. Cut and put your one beer, then we use oh, right. them for beer. It's like recycling. Yeah. <laughs> Recycle, reuse. <laughs> yes. That's the best kind of recycling. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to WFMU. Irene Chigamba <laughs> is here. Chris Stubbs is at the controls, and she's got her Mbira. Now, there's a lot of different things that you can do, different types of songs that you play, and different types of songs for different purposes, I guess? Yes. Maybe you could talk about and maybe play some examples, you think? Okay. This one is called Jipasim Pindu. The world is changing.
Irene Chigamba playing here in the studio at WFMU on the Umbira. And that was The World is Changing. That was, I guess you would say, the title song. So that's a new song, yes? Like a new song? It's my father's composition. Okay. Yes. Because um, some songs, I guess they say, are like hundreds of years. The tradition of songs yeah, is handed is down. New, yeah. For hundreds of years, mm. um, and like the songs that you would hear at the bira ceremony, the bira ceremony we were talking a little bit. It's the ancestor ceremony. Yes. Um, the, the idea of the spirits being always present for everybody is that something everybody believes in? Yes, yeah, some they believe, some they don't. Those who uh those who grew up in a Christian, mm. because what he, people do in when the uh, churches started, mm. uh, people were told that don't play in Bira right. with white people when they come to my to our country. They say don't play in Bira, mm. don't play drums, mm -hmm. don't play everything which connect connect you with the spirit they didn't want you to play that instrument because they knew that if you play your sp uh, your spirit will they they fight with the, our spirit mm. when they started coming in in our country we have a spirit media medium called Mbuyani Handa mm -hmm. she was a a very powerful spirit, great spirit. Mm. So they see how strong the spirit was. So they started to preach the word of God to, and uh, starting taking all the spirit uh, clothes, uh, clothes, right? Which you, spirit used use when it, it it possessed. Right. They started taking those things and burning it in, in the fire. Burning it. Yeah, oh, burning right. it. Say this is evil. There's no right. such thing in uh, that a person must be possessed. No one who must be possessed. Those right. who are possessed, they are demons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so some people take it serious. Mm. They and now, uh, until now, they are still doing that. They don't believe in spirit, mm. in, right? In in our spirit, right? Yes. It was really seen by the the missionaries as a conflict. Yes, as the spirits were like sort of almost like the enemy. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah, so it's still in the culture, but yet in your family, you always your family held on to that. Yes, believe we, pretty we, strongly. We, yeah, we, we believe it. Yeah, yeah, we still take it, uh, keep it. That's why we are. I myself, I work with the children right. to teach them. Right. To teach them the dances. Right. Instrument drumming. Why I am teaching them is to is to keep our culture. Hmm. If I don't do that, they right. forget because some some people they they don't teach, right, right. And their parents sometimes they don't they don't want some some children we teach in schools when they go back to their houses and say, oh mom, I've been dancing, mm. I've chosen to dance a traditional dance. She come the following day. She come she she come to see the principal. Why did you allow my oh, child no. to dance? Because the parents yeah. think it's bad. Yeah. Mm. Some they do that because they are Christian. Right, right. Yeah, we don't blame them. That's how they believe it. Right. So we, we don't right. Yeah, we don't want to fight with them. So what we are doing now is uh, those who believe Christian, they are preaching the word of God. Uh, we believe in spirit uh, on our way. We all... We also uh, preaching the way the the word of God by our own way. Mm, exactly. Yes, they are. The each one is like fight. Now we mm. are we are fighting. If you win, you get more people. If mm. we lose, <laughs> <laughs> I know it'd be nice to settle it. I guess, but <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of things that could be uh, be nice if they could be 
settled, I guess. We're talking to Irene Chigamba. She is with a family ensemble that's been active in Zimbabwe and around the world for many years called Mahembero Mbira Ensemble. And they have a CD that's just come out called Pasi Mupindu. And uh, she's got her Mbira with her. And do you want to maybe show us uh, some other uh, songs? Maybe yes. tell us tell us what uh, what could you play now? Uh, the song called the Bembero, Bembero. And what's the celebration? C- celebration. Yes. Okay. Listening to Trans Pacific Sound Paradise on WFMU. Irene Chigampa is our guest, Mbira player and singer from Zimbabwe. This interview was actually recorded. This interview and performance was actually recorded some time ago when Irene was in town. And we thank Tribal Sounds, the world music shop on 340 East 6th Street, for setting this up. Tribal Sounds is also bringing in a couple of uh, Mbira players from Zimbabwe. Again, different musicians. Uh, their names are Cosmos Magaya and Bueller Gioko. They're going to be here um, for workshops at Tribal Sounds on Sunday, October 6th. 
They're also going to be doing a concert at the New York Open Center, which is on 83 Spring Street on October 5th. For information about all that, uh, visit the Tribal Sounds website, tribalsounds, uh, with a Z, dot com, tribalsounds.com. I'll also have that link on my webpage, along with some further information about Irene Chigamba's CD. My webpage is wfmu.org slash tsp. Irene Chigamba in the studio here at WFMU, singing and playing Mbira. It's a little strange, I guess, to play just alone. Usually, <laughs> usually it's a few people playing, right? Yeah, yes. So it's a little unusual, but... It's nice that, that you could come and, and do that. Was that last song also a pretty new song or more traditional? It's new song. It, it is a new song. Do you want to play one? What would be an example of maybe oh. a very ancient traditional song? Okay. <laughs>
Irene Chigamba in the studio singing and playing Mbira. And that was a more uh, traditional song. What was that song? This one called the Mukai Tiende. Wake up, let's go. Okay. Yes. Irene Chigamba is here. The CD, her family ensemble, she's the, um, it's the, she, two generations of the family in the group, Mehembero Mbira Ensemble of the Chigamba family in Zimbabwe. And their CD is coming out. It's out. It's called Pasi Mupindu. Is it um, unusual? I know that it's little unusual for a woman to play, right? Do people ever yes. criticize you or say, ah? Yeah, some of them, they do. But now, uh, like I said, things are changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but long back, uh, women doesn't play in beer. Mm. They doesn't play um, drums. Right. In Shona, we call Ngoma. Mm, Ngoma. Those drums, yeah, we call them Ngoma. Women, they were not allowed to play those right. instruments. And we also, women, we, we, we were not sure if we can play the instruments because we, we were concentrating with the kitchen, you know, right, right. the kitchen cooking, right. take care of your uh, kids, take, taking care of your husband. So <laughs> that was <laughs> happening. But... Um, but you're different a little bit, right? You're you're different from that. Yes, I'm different. Uh, I'm a man. <laughs> so, well, <yeah. laughs> I'm different, yes. Yeah. But uh, sometimes when I go back home, I hmm. take care of my kids. Right. Yes. Right. And uh, what do you? What's your favorite? Uh, what's the most important thing for you when you teach Americans or Europeans? somebody not Zimbabwe, what, what's do you think most important thing for you to, to teach, teach the people them. from your traditions, from Shona traditions? I feel very happy to teach Americans, white people or anyone who is not my culture. Mm. Uh, why I say I say so. Is why I say, why I say that is um, when you are teaching someone who is not your own own culture, teaching your culture to another person who is huh? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the first time is so strange because mm. uh, that person doesn't understand you, doesn't understand the songs because you are singing your own language. Right. You have to translate to that person so that when you start teaching that person, he understand the music. He, she is dancing or he is dancing. So what I want, I, or what inspire me is uh, the courage they have, the, the, the way they love my my my, my dances, that's the most important thing I see to them. Mm. That's why I, I love to to teach them. Mm -hmm. They they show me that they love to to learn this <laughs> dance, right. whether they are not doing it right. well. <laughs> Even though it's strange, yeah, it, it's a big barrier to get over language and culture. Yes, but that people are interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is very is very inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> Irene Chigamba is with us, WFMU, Rob, and uh, her family's group is uh, the Chigamba family's Mehembero Mbira Ensemble. Their album is called Pasi Mupindu. And thank you so much you are for fun. coming, and best of luck in your travels. And uh, do you want to play us one more song, maybe to go to go out with? Yes. What what can you play for us to uh, to uh, it's like a closing song. This is a it's an old song. It's a spiritual song. <laughs> Oh, hey.
Irene Chigamba from Zimbabwe here on Trans Pacific Sound Paradise on WFMU.